In a world where some no longer believe that we can distinguish between simple right and wrong, we need your message to reject this dictatorship of relativism and embrace a culture of justice and truth. In a world where some see freedom as simply the right to do as they wish, we need your message that true liberty requires us to live our freedom not just for ourselves, but in a spirit of mutual support. Holy Father, thank you for making this journey to America. Our nation welcomes you. We appreciate the example you set for the world. And we ask that you always keep us in your prayers. Freedom is not only a gift, but also summons to personal responsibility. Americans know this from experience. Almost every town in this country has its monuments honoring those who sacrifice their lives in defense of freedom, both at home and at abroad. The preservation of freedom calls for the cultivation of virtue, self-discipline, sacrifice for the common good, and a sense of responsibility towards the less fortunate. It also demands the courage to engage in civic life and to bring one's deepest beliefs and values to recent public debate. In a word, freedom is ever new. It is a challenge held out to each generation and it must constantly be won over for the cause of good. Few have understood this as clearly as the late Pope John Paul II. In reflecting on the spiritual victory of freedom or totalitarianism in his native Poland and in Eastern Europe, he reminded us that history shows time and again, I quote, that in a world without truth, freedom loses its foundation, and a democracy without values can lose its very soul. Mr. President, dear friends, as I begin my visit to the United States, I express once more my gratitude for your invitation, my joy to be in your midst, and my fervent prayers that Almighty God will confirm this nation and its people in the ways of justice, prosperity, and peace. God bless America.
Latres America.